guys, my name is Charlotte Nagai and I am an executive director with Pampered Chef. And I just wanted to show you how to get started in SyncShare if you've never used it. So we're going to go to, don't mind my typing, SyncShareFree.com. And if you've never signed up, then you're going to click begin your free trial and enter your info and the code SYNCHFREE. And I'll put that in the description of this video too so you don't have to remember it. So you, if you enter Cinch Free, you get 37 free days to try it out. That's a lot of time. So I am already a member, so I'm going to click Login. I've been using Cinchure for, I think, close to two years now, maybe. Maybe a year. Anywho, so it looks like this. This is where you type out whatever you want to post. And then this is where we upload a photo or a video. There's a few different ways to do it. It's however you're most comfortable. The first thing you want to do is click this little Ritz cracker. And if you have over it, it says My Networks. Because you have to tell SyncShare where you want to post to. And every time you set up a new party, whether it be a group event, if you set up a new page, whatnot, you're going to want to click that Ritz cracker and come here and click Refresh. So it can retrieve all of your albums and groups and events and everything and be all up to date. Otherwise, it doesn't automatically just fetch stuff constantly. So it's just going to spin, and depending on how many you have, it'll take a little bit. Um, I have a lot, and it doesn't take that long. So this is where some people get confused. If you're posting to an event, then that's under your personal timeline here. And you're just going to click this little tiny arrow. And here's all your albums. You can schedule pictures to go right into albums. But we're going to scroll down, and these are events. So each event that you want to post to, you're just going to click the little heart. So I have one clicked right now so that we can do it as a sample. And these are groups. So if you're doing parties and groups, you have team groups, you have your VIP group, whatnot, then you want to click those here. I have a lot of groups. And then down here are your pages. And so if you want to schedule a post to a page, you click that. And then Twitter, and that's a whole different beast, so I'm not getting into that today. This will just be for Facebook. So after you've clicked your heart next to all the ones that you want to show up, then we go back to this little check mark to post. So now I do my, my posts from Evernote. I schedule all, all of my posts in this pretty little outline. So what I have to do is just drag it so that my arrow lines up with choose file and then type whatever I want and pick a time and a date. You can pick a category. These are I've created a lot. You don't have to create any categories at all. But if you want to, then you can just do add a new category and type it in and click save and then post in that. And then we're going to check where you want it to go. Now, if you're doing an event, again, you want to come up here to your timeline and click that little arrow so it drops down all of your events. Same thing if you're doing an album from your personal page, then it'll show up there. So then we would just click that. And then you just hit Schedule. And it's going to pop up over here. Yep, it's past you. I took too long. Schedule it today. Um, this shows you everything you have pending. You can click most recent. You can have it lined up by schedule date. If you have a lot of different shows going on, then you just click up here and you can pick the show that you want or the page that you want. You don't have to use this to even if you don't do direct sales and you don't do shows. So that's the drag and drop from Evernote. And again, you're just dragging it over. And aligning up that arrow. There we go. Boop. Oh, that's a banner. My bad. Super easy. Now, the second way you can do it is by just copying and pasting the uh, image URL. So I'm going to go here to my page. Sorry, I'm going to delete this. And you just pick an image. This one I did this morning. My husband made me some amazing crepes. And you right click, or I'm on a Mac, so I control click and do copy image. 
then you go back to your cinch chair. And right here where it says photo arrow, you can just paste it. I do control V, works on a Mac or a PC. And then you just type in whatever you want to say. I'm just typing in some jargon. And then you click schedule. Make sure you have a network chip. Well, it'll warn you if you don't. Just make sure you have the right party checked. Now, one of the amazing things is if you are the host or co-host of an event or an admin of a group, or you have a public um, event or group or your page that you're in, you can actually go to a photo and then click this in the address bar. And if you post it right here where it says paste the link and click the Facebook icon, it brings up that whole post. So you have all the wording and you have the image. So here's a party that I did and here's that image there. So I just copy and paste that and click Facebook import and it comes right up. There's all the wording that I use and that's fabulous if you have an old party and uh, you just can copy and paste the link from that. I would change up a few of the words each time just so that you don't risk Facebook seeing you as spam. But otherwise that's like such a super easy way. You don't have to try to find the photo on your computer. You don't have to retype everything you said. Now the last thing we're gonna do is a video link. And this one seems tricky for people. So we're gonna copy this video link and paste it here. And then click this chain icon and that's going to bring up the whole preview. Now if you don't like the image that comes up for the video, you can change it. Maybe I want to have muffins instead of sweet Laura's face. So the video is still there, just this is the image that they'd see. You could create your own sort of header and put it there saying click here sort of thing. And then as always you type in what you want to say. You pick the date, you pick the time, if you want a category, and check the party, and hit schedule, and then you're all set. Let's say we just see this one. Now, oops, I scheduled something, but then I realized I made an error. You can click on it and go to edit post. And then just fix whatever you want to fix and then just schedule it again. Or maybe you needed to change the time or something. Or maybe I scheduled this post and I'm scheduling it in Doreen's party so it says Doreen. Well, I want this same post in Melody's party. So I'm going to hit copy post and then I'm going to go down and pick Melody's party, which I don't have, so we're just going to pretend we're in the land of make-believe. But then I would type in Melody instead of Doreen and then schedule that in Melody's party. So all these are super easy. You just have to jump in and play around a little bit. And then my next video will dive in a little bit deeper on rescheduling posts <clears throat> and using the find and replace. So hopefully this video helped you at least feel comfortable getting started. Just get those posts going and you'll do amazing.